For this problem, we are required to derive an expression for deflection at pre-end of the cantilever beam. Step number one, compute the value of moment and shear at the support. This step is optional. Depende kung sa tingin mo ay kailangan sa solution ng value ng moment and shear at the support. Step number two, draw the possible shape of the elastic curve of the beam. Para sa cantilever beam, alam natin na kapag nag-drawing tayo ng tangent line sa elastic curve sa point A, ay zero yung value ng slope ng tangent line and maximum deflection at pre-end or sa point B. Step number 3. Draw a tangent line on the elastic curve taken at the peak's ended support. Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, zero yung value ng slope ng tangent line sa elastic curve sa point A, thus this tangent line is horizontal. This distance is the value of the maximum deflection, which is also equal to the value of the deviation of point B relative to a tangent line drawn to the elastic curve at point A. Step number 4. Construct the moment diagram by parts. Sa point A tayo kumuha ng axis at doon natin i-moment lahat ng load ng beam. Kapag sa point A tayo nag-moment, ang may value lang ng moment ay yung uniformly distributed load. Kapag i-moment natin yung uniformly distributed load W sa point A, Equal yun sa W times L multiplied by L over 2, which is equal to WL squared over 2. Yung curve ng uniformly distributed load sa moment diagram ay second degree. Step number 5. Compute the value of deviation of point B relative to a tangent drawn to the elastic curve at point A. Note, it will be noticed that the magnitude of deviation of point B respect to A will equal the deflection under point B, or the maximum deflection. The formula for this deviation is equal to 1 over EI multiplied by the area bounded from point A to point B on moment diagram multiplied by bar XB. Dahil bar XB yung nasa formula, kailangan natin ng distance ng centroid ng moment diagram hanggang sa point B. This distance is equal sa 1 fourth ng length, and this distance is equal to the 3 fourth ng length. Dahil isang area lang yung meron tayo, equal yan sa 1 over EI, multiplied by the area from point A to point B on the moment diagram, equal to sa negative 1 third ng length times intensity, WL squared over 2, multiplied by the distance of the centroid of this area hanggang sa point B, which is equal sa 3 fourth ng L. The value of deviation of point B relative to a tangent drawn to the elastic curve at point A is equal to negative WL to the fourth over 8 EI. Para saan yung negative value ng deviation na nakuha natin? Ang ibig sabihin lang nun, yung elastic curve ay nasa ilalim ng tangent line. Thus, tama yung figure na ginawa natin. The value of this deviation is equal to the value of y max or y at the free end. Pwede nating i-rewrite yung value ng deviation as equal to the deflection at free end, which is equal to WL to the fourth over 8 EI. Hindi na natin isinama yung negative sign kasi yung value lang yung kailangan natin at gamit yung sign sa deviation na prove natin na downward yung deflection sa pre-end.